Hello friends, welcome to our channel. In this lecture, I would like to explain another example based on the precious concrete. See here, already I solved so many examples which is related to the basics of the precious concrete beam. So now this is the topic which I taken from the deflection of the precious concrete beam. See here how the design question will be. A post tensioned concrete beam of rectangular section is 250 mm wide and 450 mm deep. The beam is precessed by two cables of area 510 mm square each, which are initially precessed to 1500 Newton per mm square. The eccentricity of the cable is 90 mm throughout the length of the beam. The span of the beam being 8 meters. Ignoring all losses, find the deflection at the center of the beam when the beam supports its own weight. What would be the deflection at the center when the beam carries an imposed load of 15 kN per meter? and there is a 20% loss in pre-stress. So concrete weight is given 24 kN per meter cube and modulus of elasticity for concrete is given 40 kN per meter cube. So see here, this is the question which is given from the deflection of the pre concrete beam and at the same time in the deflection of the pre concrete beam there will be two types of deflection. One will be related to the short term deflection, another one will be related to the long term, long term deflection. So this one will be related to the short term deflection. And at the same time here they will given one simply supported beam. So this is the rectangular section. So which is of the cross section. What is given here? 250 mm wide and 450 mm deep. At the same time, so here it is given the overall span length of 18, 8 meters. So exactly this is the centroidal axis, but here the cable is passing at some eccentricity. So this is the tendon which is placed at an eccentricity of how much? Here it will be given 90 mm. So it is always better to take down the diagrammatic representation and given data as from the given table. So B will be equal to some 250 mm. D will be equal to 450 mm deep and at the same time the beam is precessed by two cables of area. Area will be given for two cables of 510 mm square each. So sometimes what they will be given two bars of some 15 mm diameter. At the time what you have to do for finding the area 2 into pi d square by 4. Like that we have to find the area of the cable. If they given two cables we can go with uh, 2 into pi d square by 4. Other three uh, three numbers means 3 into pi d square by 4. But here they are not giving any type of diameter here. Just they are giving overall area. Already they calculated in terms of the diameter and they will given directly. But they will mention here clearly two cables. So if you want to find the area directly, we can go with the 2 into 510. And at the same time, which are initially pre to means they are given initial pre which is 1500 Newton per mm square <coughs> and the eccentricity of the cable I shown here this is this is of E will be equal to 90 mm and at the same time the overall length will be given which is L equal to 8 meters find the deflection at the center of the beam when the beam supports its own weight means first will be self weight which is based on the dead load of the beam and what would be the deflection at the center when the beam carries an imposed load of 15 kilo Newton per meter which is given the uh, live load will be 15 kilo Newton per meter and after that and there is a 20% loss 20% loss so for this 20% loss we have to find out the deflection again so generally we know these are the constants even though if they are not given you can take concrete weights of PCC will be equal to 24 kN per meter cube and modulus of elasticity will be given that is equal to 40 kN per meter cube meter square. So this is the concept and one more thing what we have to remember while solving the problem based on the deflection of the 
beams so this is given exactly the beam which is acting with the straight tendon so the beam here which is straight tendon if you see what are the different types of tendons acting here see here so one the first topic with be beams with the straight tendon so i simply supported beam the beam which is acting straight here at some eccentricity so whenever this type of question given so the concept is related to the the uh, the formula will be the deflection of this at the center will be equal to movement of area of the bmd for half of the span about the support by ea so if you simplify you will get directly the formula will be pel square by 8ea so that whenever a beam with straight tendon the deflection at the center means that is upward deflection at the center will be pel square by 8ea similarly the tendons will be placed like this so both sides it will be inclined so which is in the form of the trapezoidal profile at that time the formula will be p a 6ei by i into 2l1 square plus 6l1 l2 plus 3l2 square similarly beam with parabolic tendon if you observe clearly <coughs> whenever the beam will be given like this which is in the form of parabolic where h is the dip of the cable at a, at that time the bending moment and deflection due to the cable will be given 5 by 48 ph l square by ei so like this there will be some different types beam with parabolic tendon with positive eccentricity means which is not exactly um, acting from the center here at the ends it will be active at some eccentricity so like this there will be some four to five different types of uh, concepts will be given in short time deflection but now so we will discuss one by one topics in the further classes but now today i am chosen the example which is related to the beam with the straight tendon for this one what is the formula here you please see here beam with the straight cable will be given as so the beam with the straight cable will be given as pe l square by 8ea so this is deflection at the center which is upward deflection and at the same time so if you see the problem so first of all what we have to do so we can find the deflection at the center when the beam supports its own weight means first you have to find the based on the given data first you can find the dead load of the beam so dead load of the beam so what is the dead load so already in we people know if it will be rectangular b into d so in the length wise we are taking one unit so that is 1 meter into unit weight of psc so what is that one in terms of meter already we know the data 0.25 0.45 into 1 into 24 please simplify this one so you will get the value around 0.00278 kilonewton per meter after that so what if, what about the moment of inertia for the rectangular beam so i equal to bd cube by 12 so if you take down this one 250 b will be d will be 450 cube by 12 so it, you will get in terms of uh, mm power 4 you please simplify so it will be around i will take the, the value directly 1.89 into 10 to the power of 9 maybe you will get 189 some double zero double zero like that also so you please round off that value which you will get convenient for your next calculation and at the same time so why we are doing all these things so the deflection so the downward deflection what is the formula so already we learned in our basic subjects so which was in strength of material so on a simply supported beam if udl is acting on entire span so what is your deflection at the center so the downward so the deflection at the center will be equal to 5 by 384 wl power 4 by a so we all of us know this formula so we learnt in the basic classes only so this w indicates self rate that, that is wd okay so please substitute in that formula 5 by 384 so this wd will be taken so this is the dead load 
so if you want uh, the wd directly take down this value 0 0.0027 and uh, what is the length of this pan in terms of the meter it is given 8 meters so you can take down in terms of mm so you check the values so it will be taken in terms of mm sorry you please change this one this will be in terms of mm so in terms of meters it will be 2.7 kilo newton per meter please round off this one um, and at the same time what about e value it will be given 40 kilo newton per mm square and at the same time this one will be i value after simplifying you will get 1.8984 into 10 to the power of 9 mm power 4 so all the values in terms of mm power, mm only so after simplifying if you will get 1.90 mm so this is the deflection downward deflection at the center so this is the downward deflection at the center so for this condition what is the upward deflection already we see in that formula here that is pel square by ati please take down that formula also that is upward deflection will be equal to upward deflection equal to pel square by 8ei so we know all the values so what about p p equal to already we know in the question also it will be given stress into area so what about stress initially the stress will be given if you check the given data 1500 what about the area 2 into 2 cables of area 500 like that 510 mm square like that they will given in the question which is in the given data so you take down 2 into 510 sometimes they will given direct pre-stressing force at that time you no need to calculate like this so directly take, you can take down that value Sometimes they will give stress into area like two, uh, two cables of 510 area. Sometimes they will give in two bars of some 10 mm diameter. Means you can simplify 2 into pi d square by 4. Like that, you can simplify the values. So, how much you will get? If you simplify, it will be around some 50 30 kilo newton. And what about E value? Already uh, we, we see in the diagram. So that E value will be 90 mm according to the given data only. So you please substitute all the values one by one here. So that P value will be equal to 1530 and E value will be 90 and uh, length of the simply supported beam will be 8000 in terms of mm and again 8 this one will be 40 and I value will be same as it is 1.8984 into 10 to the power of 9. So, how much it will be? It will be 14.52 14 mm. So, you please simplify the values by your own and take down that values only. Sometimes, due to some error in the calculations, I will write some uh, digits, small, <coughs> small error will be there. And coming to the continuation of the problem. So, once you So after finding the both upward and downward deflection, our next calculation will be net deflection. So net deflection will be comes net upward deflection at center. So what about net up for, net upward deflection? So so already the values will be one will be fourteen point five zero, another will be one point nine zero. So the downward deflection will be one point nine zero upper deflection will be 14.50 so if you take down this one so how much you will get you will get a 12.62 mm so this is your net upward deflection at the center after that your next step is upward deflection upward deflection due to due to final pre-stressing force final pre-stressing force 
see here what they are given 20% loss they are given in the question 20% loss means so total there will be 100% in this they will given 20% loss means the remaining percent will be 80% so here the obtained pre uh, upward deflection how much it will be 14.50 if we take down the re with remaining 80% after loss of 20% how much you will get it will be around some 11.62 mm so the upper deflection due to final precessing force after considering 20% loss will be 11.62 mm so downward deflection due to superimposed loads so here the upper deflection due to fi final precessing force after considering loss of 20% will be around 11.62 mm so after that again what about the downward deflection so if you see the downward deflection due to soup imposed loads will be considered as see here already we calculated dead load how much you will get it will be around 2.7 kilo newton per meter so that is self weight for this one how much we obtain the downward deflection will be around 1.90 mm and again in the given data in the question they are given superimposed load of 15 kilo newton per meter for this one we have to find so for this one we have to make some cross multiplication like this once again remember this one already we calculated the downward deflection due to superimposed loads sorry the downward deflection based on the self weight will be around 1.90 mm so but in the question they are asking for 15 kilo newton per meter so what about your deflection if you did cross multiplication like this 2.7 x equal to 1.90 into 15 so x equal to around 1.90 into 15 by 2.7 so how much you will get you will get around 10.56 mm so after obtaining this one you please find out the net downward deflection so that one will be equal to 1.90 so deflection downward deflection again deflection due to the after considering 20% loss and again this upward deflection after considering 20% loss if you simplify this one you will get around 0.84 mm this is the way how to simplify this problem first consider the downward deflection that is 5 by 384 wdl power 4 by a then go with the formula for the given concept upper deflection due to the pre-stressing force will be equal to pel square by 80 after that again consider 20 percent loss and sub, uh, simplify with the formula then you will get final net downward deflection here 